Hello. Tonight I'm going to be installing the turnout that I made. Um, I've done some prep work here. I've uh, gone ahead and soldered the rail joiners onto the turnout. You can see back there. Done that, filed it down a little bit. Uh, got a section of track here that uh, feeds into the diverging uh, branch of the turnout. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this put in. So first I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and just mark where I want to cut my rail here. I want to cut it right there. I'll go ahead and uh, let me double check again. Yeah, yeah, right here, right there. I want to go ahead take my rail nippers and just go ahead and cut the rail. Go ahead and do that on the other side. There we go. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and take this section of track off. And clean, get these ties off, get those cut off there, like that, and I'm going to go ahead and clean off the weathering that I've done on the backs of these rails so we get the good electrical contact, I'll do that. All right, let me fit this piece back on. Okay, put it back on here. You probably can't see it. I'm doing it off camera, but uh, back there. <laughs> it's where the uh, track hooks it to the main line. All right, let me go ahead and pull that piece off. And we just make take a look. Fit it on like that. Carefully, it's a nice tight fit. So, and let's see how this looks here. All right, uh, I think we're making progress here. Let me go ahead and I think I may need to tweak that a little bit more, cut that a little short because uh, one rail is a little bit longer than the other. Okay, make sure get this so it's all even. Okay, make sure I got it nice and straight. I'm just going to nip just a tiny little piece off right there. Just a, just a little bit. Maybe too much. Alright, here, let me put this back on. Adjust it. Oops, okay, let me go ahead. Missed it, missed putting it in. There, all right. That's, that's a little bit more like it. I am just leaving a tiny little bit of a gap here because uh, the wood, I don't have a climate controlled layout, so it, uh, tends to expand and contract, I mean the wood itself, so I've kind of noticed that. I've had a couple of problems where it kind of kinks a little bit due to changes in humidity, so I tend to leave just a tiny little gap. Um, I mean, that's a little bit more than I wanted. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Just a tiny little bit, bit of a gap. Just allow for seasonal expansion of the wood. So, there. Uh, you can probably see what we got here. Let me close, zoom in for you, right there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the track back here. I'm gonna feed in to the points. Go ahead and get that. Cut it a little bit long, just 
just to be sure um, I'd rather have this a little bit too long and then trim it back down than have it too short and that means I have to replace the whole section here and by the way oh my hands are in the way right now this is just a temporary section I can easily replace it with another piece of track uh, at some point well, hopefully not too long I'm actually gonna finish this scene now and I guess I'll probably record what I do for your edification and inspiration you can take away some ideas from this let me go ahead and uh, cut this over here as well and once I get all the everything caulked and in place uh, hopefully later tonight uh, it'll be dry enough where you can actually watch some um, trains go through this turnout so if not tonight then uh, oops maybe tomorrow night depends on what I get going on and how much time do I have to shoot and uh, get all these videos compiled and uploaded to YouTube and stuff like that so